We're finally installing our solar setup, and to me, it's a huge system. We'll finally stop annoying the neighbors with the generator sound. So I brought the batch kit from the Grid Free Store. I chose the ground mount system, and I upgraded to the hybrid inverter. So it comes with four batteries to create a 48, 48 volt system. It has cables to join all the batteries together and then bring the power, uh, some cables to bring the power up through a circuit breaker into the hybrid inverter. And then I have four solar panels and the cables to join them all together, bring them down to my system through a circuit breaker and then into my inverter as well. I upgraded with a 48 volt to 12 volt uh, converter so that I can um, run 12 volts things from my system and I upgraded with a Wi-Fi connector so I can run it through my phone and uh, look and see what's going on. Next I'm going to join my four 12 volt batteries, I'm going to turn it into a 48 volt system. And today Hayden is installing the solar panels into the roof of his container.
get the benefit of setting it all out before the wood goes up on the wall so they can load things up properly. And my first thought was to put the big um, hybrid inverter on my left but then I find that all the inputs for the solder is on the right and the 240 is on the left so it would be better on that side. 240 can come out that way. I don't want to put this too high because then I can't read the dial. And this is already sitting uh, 900 off the ground. Come out of that. So my solar panels come in into the circuit breakers so I can turn the uh, solar panels on and off and they go into the inverter uh, the batteries they come up and they connect into here and they go into the inverter and this is 48 volts which is also going to come out into my 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter and so I'll have uh, 48 volts coming out to there and if I have some 48 volt lights then that can go in there and then the 12 volt will come out uh, into a little bit there uh, into some buzz bars and then into some fuses which will go to a couple of water pumps and some lights that doesn't need to take out a lot of space why well, what's going to go down there that is um Grid Connect store over now. <laughs> that's all Grid Connect. Oh, yeah. Now it's time to add the 240 volt and the, with the help of my Sparky. Set it out for him before he comes. So, this circuit panel is going to be for the generator coming in, and it's going to be for the inverter. And then I need some power plugs, but I'm going to use a bit of cardboard. So after a long sit on my green throne. Don't start like that. <laughs> I have changed plans a little bit. I've decided to cut this board right in half. Uh, this panel is going to be permanently attached to the wall, screwed in, never moved. And this half of the panel is going to have hinges on it. And so you can access the back of it easily. Now I've decided to change the uh, 12 volt, 24 volt down to here and then move this over a little bit. Just have to make sure that I follow the instructions 
around the how much space it needs around it. Make sure it's not up against the wall. 150 mils by the book.
The 240 volt overview of the power system will be in a future video. Subscribe so you don't miss out.